Most Cloud9 members, see if you can get those juicy backliners. Both Orianna and Aphelios do not have escapes of their own, so they're going to be reliant on their front line to peel. Sven picking up the Braum has been so good. Braum is just such a good... Lulu messing him up here yeah, early got, on. Wants that dive timing. We All get right. to see it. Some top lane focus flowers. Let's go. Labyrinth's coming up to help Fudge. Can they get the dive here on Solo? Arcticus all connects. W2. File your taxes, buddy. It's first blood back over to C9. This is why we lay the groundwork, Flowers. You talk about Sejuani Renekton for 30 games straight, and they finally actually play to it. The dive for Cloud9 is successful. Now the dive for Immortals is going to be successful. There's, oh. there's no way you're living that. MS decided to try to stand and fight to see if he could buy enough time for his team to show. Oh, man, they're going to return to it, too. Blabber. Are they going to make a liar out of me? Are they going <laughs> to bully Malphite so hard he's not even allowed to play League of Legends? No, sir, it's actually Solo getting the kill first there from the turret aggro. Blaber nearly gives over a double 17 HP left on the Sejuani. Cloud9 have a... Mm, kind of weird. Don't Mortals. like those numbers. Sending four melee minions. <laughs> oh, Berserker trying to get away, but he will not flash out in time. Pop Blossom, the Lulu got him. Nicely done from the mortals picking off the cloud 980 close around the jungler will always be guaranteed the plate money If nobody else is there to soak it and they're gonna fight. Yeah, C9 saying all right You guys committed some resources killing off berserker. Maybe we can get the fight now and MS just explodes can be but now Sven gets traded back as Balulu joins the fight MS and blabber in retreat as immortals have a 3v2 MS flashes away from the dredge line and barely escapes the end of the hitbox Okay, cloud nine have stopped the dragon and berserkers back and alive blabber over the top here Lulu in some trouble, disrespectfully walking right in front of the Cloud9 mid jungle duo. What? Sunfire Aegis completed, so not nearly as scared of the croc as he used to be. Patience. Plus 3,000 gold for C9. Immortals looking to even that out a little bit further here as Berserker has to get away. The Heartbreaker from Kenby sets it up for Tactical to find the first kill. Sven retreats in time back underneath the tier one, so it will not be more than just that single kill going over to IMT, but Tactical's looking for some plate money. And they want to teleport behind here from Cloud9. They want to catch some extra kills on the way out again. All right, Fudge Factor coming in big. Tactical, very low. He knows he's dead no matter what. And Fudge is looking to lock down treats and make sure it's not just one for the side of Cloud9. They'll get both enemy bottom laners, and C9 goes up. They don't care about it as much. They open up the playbook. He's ready to go. Berserker already flashed. Solo's over the wall. Balulu's over the other one. Berserker's going to be the target. And Immortals just collapsed. Cloud9 is crushed, and there's no way for him to fight back against that kind of a trigger pull. Solo finally drops, but now MS is in danger. He's got to cut away back to Fudge, who shows up with the Ruthless Predator. The slice, the dice, he picks up Kenby, and Tactical and Treats have to try to kite it out. Treats with a nice retreat there through the dredge line, as MS is still providing damage from range. Tactical flashes back over the wall, trying to stay alive, but MS has the ball delivery ready to go. Blabber ain't done yet either, as he continues continues charging forward. Four. Oh, and now Cloud9's looking to turn it around right back on the IMT. Solo will get focused down first. I don't see any way he's out of that one. No, sir. Blabber picks up his fifth kill of the game, maintains 100% kill participation, and with Immortals having lost their main front line, they do not want to approach the Drake any further. The bottom lane tier watches. It's Treats looking to go in, but Sven is not a good target. Solo may be able to follow up here. Blabber still on the front line. Nice double ulti from MS and Balulu's killed before he can pop that blossom. Kenby has to retreat as Solo now buys some time with the unstoppable force. Blabber continues the chase. MS right next to him to provide the damage. Treats will have to drop here too as Immortals lose three. Their jungler's got 20% health and C9's got eyes locked on Baron. Yeah, Cloud9 say your fun is over now, Immortals. They maintain multiple points of pressure, pulling Immortals back and forth between these lanes as Blabber and Sven once again frontlining. Eminence takes a little damage, but he does not care. Blabber soaking all sorts of hits, but he still disengages in time. Now Sven stuck in the front. He's going to drop, and Fudge is soaking the damage next. Kenby has to try to get away, and he'll survive for now. A shutdown back over to Tactical as he picks up Fudge. It's a 2 nothing for IMT. C9 broke into the base, but their assault ends there. Cloud9 for the angles tactical he has flash oh just gonna disengage there 
Good enough so far, but Blabber's not done. Shockwave sets it up. MS picking up another kill there, nice and easy. Double when you add treats into the mix. 29 now with a 5v3. I think they walk it down mid. Blabber, riding on the most menacing pig you've ever seen, walks up to your AD carry and slaps him. What do you do, Flowers? You just say, thank you, Mr. Piggy. His HP to a shockwave combo there from Orianna. Baron's already dead before Immortals can even make it into the scene. MS is targeted there by the ulti coming out from Treats, but it won't matter. There's no follow-up. A nice use of the stasis as Fudge cuts down tactical. Blabber's leading the charge, and Solo's stunned up. Kenby can't deal with the Piggy, and now he's got to use the Heartbreaker back over the wall. He just brings C9 to his own teammate. Kenby has condemned Treats to die with him, as Immortals will all get wiped off the map. They're goes the Nautilus. Sven ends up picking up the kill credit there with the Ignite. Envy's trying to run away, make it so they can't have the ace. But C9 is already onto the Nexus. Sven's Turret. hunting him still. He, he <laughs> doesn't want to let him go. He's going after Viego. And honestly, Beat I up. think Braum wins these. The Nexus is dropping. The Glacial Fissure. Get him. Oh, oh, no. Blabber ruins the honorable oh. combo.